好,各位菩薩,今天的佛法弘講 The topic of today's Dharma talk is is, is, is by Guo, Venerable Guo Xing He is the current master of the Dharma Drum Mountain Zen Center in Taiwan So the master Venerable Guo Xing has been the avid of of Chan Meditation Center and the Dharma Drum Retreat Center in the New York. Currently, he serves as the Deputy Abbot of Dharma Drum Mountain World Center for Buddhist Education, the, the Deputy Superintendent of the Meditation Center and the Master of the Meditation Hall in Taiwan. Venerable Guo Xing invites a special guest, Venerable Guo Xing, to share his research. Venerable Guo Xing's research focuses on the sources and lineage of Dharma Drum sect of the Chinese Chan, as well as the biographies and thoughts of Venerable Dong Chu and Ling Yuan, mentors of Master Sheng Yan. Venerable Guo Xing currently serves as the senior lecturer of the Dharma Drum Mountain Zen Hall. He also serves as the supervisor and deputy supervisor of management of monastic affairs for monks, as well as the lecturer at Dharma Drum Center in Hong Kong. Now, everybody, Amitabha. I'm very happy today um, I can talk about Master Shen Yan's philosophy in Chan. Um, in 2002, um, teacher Fu Chong Yi um, issued a book and he started with a, a research aspect And I'm not um, uh, specialized in the research area, but I want to, um, through the chance perspective, um, in practice and experience, and talk about Shifu's Chan thinking. But I also want to talk about how Shifu um, spread um, the Chan methods in his experience and the basics or foundation of his education. So I can, um, let's follow the slides. I followed with Shifu, and he only has a direction. There is no fixed approaches. And the direction is becoming Buddha, is wisdom and compassion. So how to cultivate one's wisdom and how to help others realize wisdom, that's compassion, and always uh, just follow causes and condition so there is no fixed approach. And Shifu also talk about the methods of Chan is Buddha Dharma as a whole. It's method of the mind they are the same. It's very precise. So if we need to talk in detail, it encompasses everything. So let's go slow. So basically, Shifu and um, general Chan practitioners um, 
and he teaches students through chance experience and the the methods of teaching are uh, flowed out of the mind this is same as a uh, charm masters all different charm masters teaching methods and basically when shifu um spreading um, the charm methods he always talks about acting with the flow of situation um, follow the causes and conditions um, so moving along with causes and conditions i need to talk about shifu's life uh, then maybe i need a uh, Venerable Goshin to also talk about this too. So Shifu talks about how wonderful is Buddha Dharma, yet knowing so little. So we know that um, when Shifu was in the army, he, um, he once sat with Venerable Lin Yuan and asked a lot of questions. And in the end, uh, Venerable Ling Yuan just listened and listened. And then he asked Shifu, is there more? Is there more? And then Lin Yuan, uh, Venerable Ling Yuan slapped the desk and say, let him go. And then Shifu had an experience that his whole body uh, was chilled and relaxed in seeing the nature. And I once heard Shifu said, when he was talking to Venerable Lin Yuan, his, um, his basis or foundation of Chan was already pretty good at the time. Uh, we know uh, first Shifu was with a uh, variable or a master Dong Chu for quite a while. And uh, later uh, Shifu felt that he needs to go into the uh, extended retreat. Later we can ask a uh, variable Goshin to talk about this part. But then he also later decided he want to study abroad in Japan. And after studying abroad, coming back to Taiwan, Shifu said um, he wanted to um, contribute to um, the Buddhism in Taiwan, but the causes and condition wasn't there. So it's like he has a driver license, but there's no car to drive. So Shifu just follow um, causes and condition and came to the United States. And uh, Shifu led a seven day retreat. Um, and when Shifu was in Japan, um, Venerable Don Chu uh, did go to see him um, and check, you know, what Shifu was doing. And later, um, the translation bureau, uh, we also need to ask Goshin, Venerable Goshin to talk about this later. But why? Um, and also, we are going to talk about um, the dialogue with Dalai Lama. So Shifu talks about um, the modern scholars talking about Tian Tai Hua Yan, etc. 
And then um, we can talk about in high don't you and Shifu's experience in the extended retreat with various samadhi um, in um, avatamsaka, osha mudra samadhi, etc. And we also gonna say talk about um, Buddha Dharma as a whole and methods of Chan are one in essence. Um, and uh, this is what uh, the Venerable Goshin gave me at the time. And Shifu and Dalai Lama had a dialogue, right? And, and he actually created a, a draft of this, um, this uh, table. A system table. So you know, from today's perspective, it's very um, systematic. The first, you know, he had a is this has the same. One is a uh, Chinese and one is Tibetan Buddhism. So here you say it says Chinese and Tibetan Buddhism is, has the same origin from India, but uh, they have different causes and conditions, and one became you know, Chinese Buddhism, one became Chinese Tibetan Buddhism. And, you know, the, it, the Buddhism came from India, right? So the number three, um, Chinese Buddhism, the, the mainstream teaching of practice of Chinese Buddhism. And, and within there is a Tiantai school and the Huayan school and uh, in, as part of it. And uh, the Chan school is 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 the, a great amalgamator of the the chinese buddhism here we talk about and the shifu combined tiantai and huayan school and combined it into um Chao Dong and linji school so tiantai and huayan are, are more on the uh, theoretical side but they also have um, um practice but they 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 tend they 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 talk about uh, practice. So we talk about the different orders of, of uh, practice. The Chan is about what uh, it's about you know, pointing to the the the, the, the peer mind, and combining Tiantai Tiantai's theory and and Huayan's theory, combining into um, becoming the Cao Dong and Lingji school. So we know that um, uh, Chan school is. You know, so has sudden awakening and per perfect realization, but we have to explain this through the Huayan, Huayan school. So Shifu, you know, at the same time want to um, promote uh, the pure land schools. So talked about the you know, having a pure mind will lead to a pure speech and action, and then therefore leading to pure environment. And you know, also uh, it's, uh, that's also uh, talked about in another sutra. So, you know, Tiantai, not abiding to scripture, not turning away from scripture, practicing calming and contemplation together, and equal emphasis on teaching and practice. So these things, you know, when we are doing um, a meditation practice, the Shifu will, will, re will remind us that, you know, when, whatever, whatever method we do, regardless is um, silent illumination or Huato, this, we should, um, we should use um, calming and contemplation, the, the method of calming and contemplation. So for Chan school, you know, we, 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 we talk about this era, this era to emphasize how do you combine and practice them together. So, so the Chan school is more about the experience and the, its the theory and doctrine is, is more from from the from the Sarangama Sarangama Sutra, from the contents from Sarangama Sutra, and so the the, the platform Sutra is more about um, uh, practice. So if you're talking about you know uh, you know understanding the order, I mean you have to go to Tiantai theory, for example, like the little uh, small uh, the beginners um, concentration and contemplation. So here it says, um, deluded mind originates from the Buddha mind. We'll, we'll talk about this more, but um, 
let's just talk about the the, the great the, the overall so for Huayan, you know, here it's uh, the contemplation of unstructured Dharma realm and the Dharma realm of mutually unstructured phenomenon. And all phenomenon flows from the Dharma realm. And also every phenomenon is all the Dharma realms. So the, these ideas, you know, we have to kind of analyze this, but Shifu um, put this in, in, in kind of a systematic table. So all methods of Chan are one in essence, and just on Buddha Dharma is also one in essence. So for most people, there's uh, only a uh, um, varying degree of understanding experience. And, you know, it, and there, there are also many ways of teachings and, and, and the methods of learning. So from the perspective of Sarangama Sutra, if we want to, you know, see our true mind, then we have to So, so from from the teachings perspective, we have we have a lot of different methods. So, for example, in 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 Chan practice, uh, often we talk about the six uh, sense uh, functions turning into so. Here, this this part, the uh, Shifu talks about you know beginning with the mind, but and ending with the mind. So Shifu talks about that the uh, Chan Chan Dharma of Chan is also the Dharma of mind. So you know everything in the mind includes all the Dharma ten Dharma realms. In the present moment, when everybody is um, the the ability to listen. And to to th to to think and and make a judgment. This mind, this mind has a boundless and endless function. And um, you know the way of vexation, the the way of liberation, and the ten dharma rounds and causes of condition are all within our mind. More concretely, when we are listening to you know, and, and I use my, my own um, methods of experience. You know, there is a, a one who can listen and there is also one, one who is listening. So in, you know, we talk about the six vexations, you know, and this is the, the methods of the six vexations. So when I'm listening and, and 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 Fosh is saying that you know this, and I'm hearing that this is this in, in, it is this is um, the way of the vexation because there is you're still operating within duality, and for for those who who are truly free from vexation, what are they? You know, we use a term called so 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 so, so so the, 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 the speaker is the listener because the, the, the mind is the same. Most people think that yourself, your, 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 your form and, 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 and the form that you see outside to, to, to attribute that to some other, and you, 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 you would think that you know, the, the, the sound that you hear is the other. Now, this is all the, the way of the vexation. So if you are, uh, you're practicing the way of the liberation, then what is this? All sound, that, that means all sounds, it is all sounds are me and all sounds are not me. And so you, you, need, you need a little bit more explanation on this. That's, so for um, causes and conditions and, and karma and retribution, we talk about our, our, our mind through our body, through our mouth, through our thoughts, and, and we create um, bodily action and cre create speech and also creates um, thoughts, action of thoughts, and so all kinds of phenomena. And, if, and until even, even to in, in front of our eyes, we see, you know, we, we, we are the human realm, right? And we are human. We are not um, uh, the animal realm. Today, you, you reincarnate it. If you reincarnate it as the animal realm, then that, that's, your, that's your, your karma. And, and all this karma is just in our mind. And on the third one, 
delusion from dependent origination, you know, there is a one that who can, the, 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 the self that can hear, and then also there is the, there's also the sound from the teacher. And we, 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 would, uh, we would say that this is the delusion. You know, when we, when, we, uh, when we get angry, that is a kind of vexation. If you hear something and then if, you, if um, a, a grasping or attachment arises, most people who, who have a little bit more uh, practice, they'll know that these things are delusion. But most people, uh, they'll, they'll, they'll say, they'll think like, oh, if, if the, uh, the teacher's you know, speech was poorly or that the speech was really great, but they won't think that that attributed to the, their own greed or aversion that arises from their mind when, and most people in, in all moments of situation in kind of a weird, when, when you use the Buddha mind to create all phenomena and your present moment, you use your mind, your current mind to, to elaborate into or create into the, what the, 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 the phenomena in front of you, you know, like it, all kinds of phenomena. This is from, you know, it arises and, and comes from the mind, but we often don't know that this is, this comes from the mind. If, if when, you know, for example, when, when you, cl you close your eyes and go to sleep, um, all these phenomena disappears. And, and then your mind creates another kind of uh, dream state. And this is, you know, all our experiences. What, what's in front of our eyes, the, the duality uh, in front of our eyes, you, you don't typically think that that's come, come and originates from the mind. But when you close your eyes, when you don't hear all these phenomena in front of your eyes, all of a sudden disappears, and 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 then and then when you create when you go into your dream state, we will see that our our, our mind, our our, our is, is like you know from it's like a manifestation of our 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 our, our thoughts, and 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 these thoughts you know manifest it into as dreams. So at the present, yes. so here we talk about because because all these phenomena comes from the mind, and you use your mind to to to, to create to create all these kind of um, karma of body, speech, and mind. He, these all these all th this is almost all of what we do in every present moment and experiencing. And that's why we say, you know, begin with the mind and end with the mind. You know, even, you know, even though we may, may we might be experiencing, but we, we don't quite know um, that it's happening. And so when we have aversion is, is, is a choice, you know, whether you have a greed or aversion, that's a choice. So mo most people don't know that I, I, you, there, you, you, there's an option to not um, develop, develop greed and aversion. This is what uh, all our minds can, can, we can, we can command our, uh, ourselves, and we can practice these. And and furthermore, we can, we have a choice. We we can cho choose to have a self or not have a self, have or not have a self. So the. So you have to understand, in order to do that, you have to know, you know, impermanence or no self, the con these concepts. So here it's, it's spelled out very um, simply. Uh, we we want to talk about from the, the concrete uh, way of practice. So how do we, how do we um, actually practice these, you know, after you hear these, um, hear these, hear these uh, methods and then Shifu has to spell them out here. And and let's 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 go down from so starting from the mind and ending with the mind. So this mind there is actually has many different names. Now we're going to talk about the essence of, of Buddha and the different different names. There are many terminologies as you can see on the screen. I will not go over it. 
们在那个诶、呃、这个组织的舆论会提呃提到啊。For example, uh, the cursor is pointing at the, what is the intention of the patriot as when they are teaching. Overall, you are listening to me. When you listen and you can think, and what is behind the thinking, what what is that function comes from? So what I have, what are the image you see? What is the reaction in your mind? So there are different characteristics. So this mind, there is almost you can say is empty. There's nothing, but however, it has all kinds of characteristics. One main feature is in mind, in the nature of mind. Everything doesn't have an image. Everything doesn't have a form. For example, during Nirvana, in the, in the state of Nirvana, the heart doesn't create, doesn't end. Now let me go to the next page. Now we're talking about where Chan came from. Chan came from, and how does Chan evolve into a teaching essence? So whoever got the realizations, naturally, the person who is enlightened would like to teach and guide other people to go through retreats. So. Master Xinyan's approach is through practice, is to experiencing the practice of Chan. And different practice differ in different timing and situation and setting. We talk about, here we talk about how Sifu teach uh, his seven days retreat. So Sifu, Master Xinyan, observe different situation and conditions and state of mind of every person, every practitioner. So to talk about how do you sit, how do you sit properly? So during the day, Sifu will talk about the methodologies but during the evening, he will talk about the practicality and he will do more explanation behind why is such a method behind it. He'll talk about stories. So he used a combination of method and theory and practice. It's like, for example, when you, the blind way of teaching is you drive without a map, but the way teacher use is you learn to, to drive, but you also learn to read the map and you have a map. So there's a map and there is a practice. So that's the way Master Sin Yen uh, approach is. Uh, one of the, the other patriot, uh, one of the Sifu's uh, 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 said uh, he, he used two way of teaching his seven days retreat. One way is or the theory get deeper and deeper and more and more uh, complicated or there's a lot of content in the theory. Another approach is the further it goes, the more simple it is. 
is using a lot of stories to illustrate the essence of Chan. So there's two different ways. It's commonly say when you practice yourself, you only learn one, one method. But if you want to teach people, you want to teach practice, many practitioners, you need to learn many different methods. So you need to do a lot of homework before you can teach. And here we talk about the teaching of the uh, using teaching in in, a, in realizing the essence of Chan. And the approach is just just listen. If you understand it, it's, it's okay. If you don't understand it, just leave it alone. But the key is just listen. Sometimes teacher needs to talk about the deep end of the theory. So don't worry about it, just listen to it. And Surakama Sutra or the Platform Sutra uh, has been taught in United States in a daily lecture for almost 20 years. So sometimes it went very deep, sometimes it went very shallow using different stories and illustration to demonstrate the essence of Chan. Sometimes we'll talk one, one complete hour. Sometimes they even talk about it five days in a row on the same practice the same essence here we talk about here we talk about when you teach without practicing it's like when you're still hungry even when you eat it means you are still hungry even when you eat it's almost also Research for the sake of research, there's no life, there's no meaning to it. So the approach is less explanation. In fact, this, this method is a lot of explanation, but, but lack of practice. See if we use example. Uh, one time, Sifu met a team of visitors in China, and they spent a lot of time in planning, finance, location, logistics, a lot of work and time is spent on the logistic administration. And one of the students came, up, came over and said, the students say, you know, all, all these days, all I saw is a lot of vexation. All I saw is a lot of frustration, but where is the wisdom of it? We're going through all this trouble. Where is the wisdom of this? So what this tell us is, Dharma, if you if that's if there's no life, if there's no practice, you disconnect. The Dharma is disconnected from life. So to learn Dharma, you need to learn it using an approach of practice. I mean, don't spend so much time in explaining. Don't spend so much time in not doing something. Spend time in practicing practicing and practicing. So here, here stress, I mean, I mean, to explain, 
the theory is very easy. It's not difficult to explain, but if without any practice, you're not getting anywhere. It's almost like a blind man riding a blind, blind horse, a blind man riding a blind horse. And you're not getting, you're not going anywhere. Even you know all the theory, you can memorize it upside down. It's useless. So, so using the teachings to enlighten the uh, essence. So, so when we are uh, practicing learning Buddhism, so we should emphasize practice. So, so look at let's look look at our minds. There are always functions uh, from the mind. So of our from our mouths and our body. So through our body, uh, these are arises these functions. Say in our thoughts in our uh, behaviors. No matter if you understand or not. So since birth to death, we have three behaviors that we are constantly uh, 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 in practice. So, and these are you know, closely tied with vexations. So, so the practice, so of the okay, these are the, the three karmas of the body, the mind, and the thoughts. So, so if you don't understand Buddhism, but that's okay. The, we have uh, we have we will be explaining coming up here. So, all right. So we can use concentration and wisdom, starting from the scattered mind and. Be, in the becoming a focused mind, then into one mind, essentially, uh, the, eventually becoming uh, the no mind. So having no mind, that is wisdom without conditioned phenomena. So, and yeah, with the, the Chan, uh, Chan sect, we talk about the wisdom, the no thoughts, and these are the, the middle way contemplation, uh, the contemplating an emptiness and contemplation of the extinguishes. So Chan, the Chan sect, we don't, we rarely describe, uh, we, you, so yeah, so the Chan sect rarely uses description, uses words, because Chan is directly into the mind and achieving no mind. Even if you, if the mind is concentrated, that's still a vexation. So. So once, yeah, we've actually left our uh, the vexations of thoughts. We we are still in this, you know, vexation of this, you know, physical world. So the, even the thought of trying to achieve concentration is vexation. So, so yeah, so that is is a sort of a greed. So. So these are all, yeah, these are all vexations. So, okay, so we, okay, we will uh, go directly from mind into wisdom. So this is actually something very practical, uh, using the teachings to enlighten uh, so this is something we've actually practiced that we can use every day. Right? 
uh, when we are uh, walking, when we are sleeping, when we are sitting, when we are resting. So anytime during our daily lives, we can, and, or any space, we can, yeah, we can, uh, we can practice these. So it's not, yeah, going uh, with our, uh, yeah, so we need to use our uh, wisdom and concentration and without pause. So starting from the meditation cushion, and when we are sitting on there and uh, going into the state of concentration. So even the daily activities of, you know, sitting, resting, that's uh, also a chan. So when we are in the Chan center, there is no distractions. So it, yeah, there's, there's no other you know, distractions then we can actually easier to be easier to focus. But in our daily lives, there are so much more. And so we should learn to, to, yeah, to practice Chan in our daily lives. So how would we achieve that? We must practice that uh, without uh, practice that will, uh, we our mind will not dwell on a certain place or thought. So the six correct views, yeah, we will be talking about that, right? So back to using the teachings for to achieve enlightenment. Again, I have to emphasize the just walking, sitting, sleeping, sitting, it's all Chan. All right, so we have to, okay, the goal is to, uh, to achieve no form. All right, so the Shifu says, you know, for 18 hours every day, he's always experiencing uh, Buddha Dharma because he's talking about these uh, teachings Oh, even when, yeah, when he's greeting his guests, he's also using, uh, uh, practicing Buddha Tawa. In everyday daily lives, this is an you know, integral part of our lives. So we do, right? So the mind arises from that, from nothing. So the mind does not dwell upon anyone anywhere, but it still functions. Okay. Okay. So we are, but we are still, yeah, we can still, okay. Our minds are not dwelling or uh, in a, in a, certain, a certain place, but it still functions just like a mirror. So I'm using, yeah, I'm using the, uh, analogy of the like oh, okay so it's a wide angle lens okay so we are not yet just like the wide angle lens it's not focusing on any particular uh spot and yet you capture all everything so the mind is in the emptiness but it also has the ability to feel uh uh, uh sorrow and laughter Okay, let's continue. So the using teaching to, for alignment, we must start uh, with the, the, our, the functions of the Buddha nature. So what is that Buddha nature? That is, is the mind that is actually listening right now. So, okay, so the, okay, so the mind uh, that can Okay, so the me that's listening versus the, uh, the the other person doing the talking. Okay, these two are, are okay. So the yeah, so everybody, the all sentient beings, you know, have this you know subject to this duality of subject and object. Okay, the Buddha nature, everyone has this, but to for the Buddha's uh, function. 
to come. Okay, so the, right, so the Buddha function is actually is the, through wisdom. And for us as sentient beings, so so we yeah we see that we feel that there's a there's a me myself versus outside world, but if you are uh, enlightened, using the Buddha's function, the mind is not dwelling upon you know any certain location. Yeah, just like speaking to the Fasher, yeah, you don't know where he is, yeah, you don't know where his mind is. Yeah. Yeah. So the mind is actually. At, uh, it's it's empty, but he can still interact with you. This is what Chan uh, sect always talks about this. Now continue, let's continue with something. Okay, so, so when, yeah, so I, for when I'm learning about uh, Chan, so there are many things, it's, it's difficult to comprehend. So like diluted thoughts, attachment, or to discern. But the more correct meaning, it's hard to um, actually do it. But this three actually what is about and how do we operate? So this is um, like our, the thing we need to practice. You know, many people think um, attachment is like, you know, stubborn in the, their own opinion. And to discern or not to discern uh, is not to have desires or aversion. But this is hard to understand. So when Shifu talk about it, and when he taught us um, he, 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 he taught us about the selfless, um, behind these. <clears throat> and this is uh, something I find very helpful. Um, when I first um, became a monk, I found it difficult to, um, to relate to others. <clears throat> so Shifu told me this, um, the three notes of opinion. So do not express an opinion when it is not being asked. And do not stay silent when your opinion is asked for. And lastly, do not expect your opinion to be adopted. And so this is basically uh, no self. Shifu um, used this um, three no's uh, to dissolve the uh, duality of self and others. So, for example, um, when someone's like, we say it's like uh, a fake democracy. Uh, but he asked for others' opinion, but then, you know, after analyzing it, uh, his own opinion is still the best. Uh, so this is um, a type of, we, we call fake democracy. And so for me, like when someone asks, asks me, I have to provide my opinion. In the beginning, I didn't really understand I didn't really understand it, but you know, after a while, um, I understood more. Or if you just practice it, then 
you can understand more and more about uh, it's all self, but nothing is self. And next, um, Sifu also talked about the three spiritual powers. And Sifu always um, thought of what benefit he can offer to authors when they come in contact with other people. So we should say like, you know, other people is actually ourself. And this is something that um, um, encompassed with Shifu all the time. And so he, here, you know, sometimes Shifu can use this uh, spiritual powers to um, to to help others. But if you only uh, only care about your own needs, and you you take you know your mind and body as yourself, and the outside phenomena as others. Um, but actually, it's more like, you know, when you are dreaming, you know, the, the um, subject in your dream and the object in the dream are all yourself. But in reality, in practice, this is hard to, um, to achieve. And through our Buddha nature, we uh, we can you know observe ourselves and others. So you know through this connect through others' mind, uh, or this power to read others' mind, or um, samadhi of speech, um, through this to care others, such as you know considerate speech encouraging speech, loving or truthful speech. And Shifu also, uh, you know, uses the power of flexibility, um, adjust himself under this principle. And next, um, we talk about the six right views. So, you know, the three no's of opinions. And then we need to have the six right views to support. Um, all is me, all is not me. This is Master Shen Zhao talk about um, sage sees no self and nothing is not self. So this is like um, all phenomena is within the mind. For example, um, the computer right in front of me but if I turn around, it disappears, so it is not me, you know? So we talk about this phenomena in mind and their relationship. All the phenomena is like the wave in the ocean, but the wave never leaves the ocean. And this, um, we can talk about Dong Shan Liang Master Dong Shan, once walked by a river, and he saw the reflection in the river. And he said, The reflection is me, but I am not the reflection. So this is like, 
you know, the phenomenon is manifested in a mind. And when the, when the phenomenon disappears, your mind does not disappear. M Matu, Master Mazu, when he went back to his village, people came out to see him and people said, ah, you are the, the, the little boy who is selling stuff. But Master Mazu said, no, but it's not, that's not really me, but it's also me. And then we say, you know, the second later thought does not come in contact with the prior thought. In our everyday life, our Buddha nature at any moment does not leave this principle. For example, we often talk about, hello, for the, these two words, ni hao, in Chinese, we think that's two thoughts, but, or we ask, how are you? And we, when we hear this sentence, we respond, right? But the three words, how are you? For me, for me, um, three words, right? For me, all three words are my mind. But Usually, you know, we take these three words as I'm carrying others. And so how does it, like we usually respond to the prior thought that already disappears. When you, when you hear that, it, it becomes your outside phenomena for you and you become the subject. And that's how the relationship between mind and phenomena is constructed. So it's always like, you know, the, the thought at the moment disappears and there's the later thought appearing. When Chan Master does not dwell in any image or mark because they don't dwell in any thought. In Chan, we, we, we call it no abiding. So it does not dwell in any thought. And then we uh, there is not an entity traveling in time and space. So like from point A to point B, usually people like I'm in a Chan hall, I need to use the bathroom. So from point A to point B, the bathroom, there is an I walking to the bathroom and there's a body there's a left food right food and from the chan hall to the bathroom But reality within, there is no such thing as self. But we, if we talk about as a whole, this is 
like an image. Here, if we talk about the uh, neon light, it's easy to understand. So it's like a, like a clock, you know, or a circle that formed by 60 lights. And the first light come up, come on and off, second on and off, third on and off. And when it circles really fast, from one o'clock to 12 o'clock, we, we, we will see it as, you know, a motion running. But actually, there is no motion. And so like everyday life, we take the phenomenon of our physical body as self. And we think this body appears in different locations. But this is just our perception. There's not really a self. Um, if I would need to talk about this, it's gonna take a long time. So if we have time, we can um, talk about it later. So the sun face Buddha and the moon face Buddha is um, about Master Matsu's, his uh, disciple asked him, you know, uh, the, the sun face Buddha and moon face Buddha. And when you're, when, when you're, because it, when you went, what happens when you're ill? And this, this phenomenon of illness to, to help you, you know, show your Buddha nature. Well, for example, when we, and like, you know, the, the sun is a circular form and the moon has like a crescent shape. So, and, and, and they, 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 they ref for example, when I'm speaking, when I, I continue, my, my, my speech continues to change, but I, to use it every time I'm using different language to present and manifest my Buddha nature. So this and is happening for us every time and, and, and operating within. Speech is like this, you know, when I, when I standing, you know, sitting Buddha, standing Buddha, this is, uh, it's, the, the form of, of, of standing is, is not the same, but your, your Buddha nature has, has no difference and doesn't come and go. So in during our, our actualization practice, we can use this principle to correct our, and to, to, to treat, to not, not, uh, to not uh, treat the phenomena as me. So normally we, we, we think that the language is us, but the, but, but the, the language is actually just merely just uh, things in our mind. So oftentimes we talk about, you know, this, this um, John Doe and Jane Doe. So in some sense, you're acting like uh, Jane Doe and you're, you're acting as yourself. So this is what, for number five, self-directed and self-enacted. Number six, the uh, first priority, this is, uh, so before I was in uh, uh, in Shanggang in New York, I was driving. I was driving to Dongchu in in in, in Dongchu Chansi in New York, and so I was using the method. So I was in in the United States for eight years, but um, no matter what I do, I I wasn't able to bring um, Chan methods in there. So twenty years ago. I was in um, Pindong in Taiwan from driving from Pindong to Chaozhou in Taiwan. So, so during that, that whole time, I could use the Chan method in, uh, while driving. So the, the methods is to relax and to know your every movement. It's not that difficult, but um, it's, it's in America, it's hard to use. So, so, so I, I realized that the problem is that my first priority is not the right. And so, you, when you start to see someone, you know, cutting you 
on the try uh, when you're driving and then you start to think like oh well, how, how do i get, get faster uh, go ahead or how can i take a shortcut so and to to arrive at the destination faster so then then your your mind will not be relaxed so this that, what is your first priority is very important so other than that i also realize that um, sometimes we don't really know uh, that that we're planning planning things uh, throughout our day. You know, I have to do this first and do the second. So this is what this is. Um, you, you're not using your using meditation as your first priority. So you just need to um, you know have a, a, a general um, direction. You don't need to plan the details. So this is you know talking about the what is your first priority here and you know and 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 to to do your task well as your first priority so to 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 have it have meditation correspond with ourself is is important so view understanding attitude and phenomenon this is what these three things are what this is in, in any 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 moment we have these three in any moment and we have we have uh, views understanding attitude and phenomena for example when you're listening to me uh, this um my my form is 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 a phenomenon right and within that there is a, a someone who can hear and but then there's also the object to be heard like the me as the fashi so there's you know there's the hearer who can hear so there is a self there is, it is a duality, there's a subject and object. So right now, um, at this moment, we, we, we talk about like, you know, listen to the lecture parameter. Uh, there is no, you know, there is no, there is no listener, there's no object to be listened to. And then there's also no, no facet. So we, we say that this is, you know, the, the mind knows this, all the six right view is us. So all your 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 form is is seen by you, in 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 front the 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 fast in front of you is seen by you and all. So so if you understand these concepts, it combined with a silent illumination and huato, your your mind won't be um not not stuck in or abiding in any location. Then, then what can we do here? We can go from a self into no self. So most people uh, attitude don't know that there is a self and no self. So they always uh, abide in the self. So, so there is a self who is listening. There is a, there, there's an object uh, who's making the speech. And so if I don't like it, and then uh, you, can, you can change yourself to have a softer, softer mind and so, so, so lastly is the phenomenon, you know, you, you, when you are, when you're uh, impatient and you're had an aversion and you want to change, then that makes you want to change your phenomenal environment. So these three view based mental activity. So we can use these to change our the function of our Buddha mind to turn to to go from uh, uh, the, the self uh, ego self into no self. So more concretely here, we can say uh, engaging others to accomplish work or inspiring others through working together. So this is kind of a merit, ability and merit. So we talk about, you know, what, what is our first priority? You know, to, when you practice ability or you practice merit, and then this is um, a kind of a, 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 no, a merit of no self. So if you're talking about ability, you're developing ability and you're developing a no, a no uh, ability of no self. So when we talk about engaging others to accomplish work. We often see others uh, 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 get a lot of people together and, and you know, they, they praise others to get them to work together. You, you can accomplish ability and accomplish merit. And, and what is inspiring others through working together, you know, and you, 
you you use um, the work to to inspire others. Okay, so let's let's move on. One person, one universe. This is most recently uh, how, what I heard from um, Shifu. And this is uh, the, the idea of potluck. Uh, this is this is uh, when your your Buddha nature and and my Buddha nature are, cannot be separated. So you 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 have the ability to 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 see, and it has no phenomenon. So so you cannot make. You cannot differentiate between the self and the others because we both have the Buddha nature. In, in, in front of us, we have a body and we, we there's sound, right? And and with in here, I'll talk about this later. So. Um, So there's only one moon in the sky, but there's there's a thousand there's a half thousand river, but they all reflect the same moon. And and if there's one moon on 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 the on the sky, but there's a thousand mirror down on the ground, you see a thousand uh, mirrors. So our mind is like a mirror, for, for like like me, uh, my, my person or a computer, for example. Uh, when 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 I'm speaking, every computer there's 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 image of me. So this this concept, just like the like the potlucks concepts, is you know this is a very familiar idea in the United States. So when in on the weekends, everybody bring their own dish. You know, some people make mapo tofu, and some people make dumplings so everybody make their own dishes and put it together on the, the table and everybody everybody the, the things that you create on your own but everybody share the food it's, it, it, it belongs to everybody so so for, for for now we use this kind of concept potluck or concept concept of potluck to 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 talk about this so you use your buddha nature to to manifest all phenomenon and, so, so we we may not know that all, all the outside phenomena is, is created from our mind, but 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 so for for example, for all, all these ten people, if they everybody uses their own Buddha Buddha mind, uh, create the, their own the form. Of, of food and, and using your your Buddha mind to create all these food and, and you know for even 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 down to your 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 posture and speech, it all comes from your Buddha mind, and and, and if you see um, your your form and phenomenon as kind of like the dishes of the potluck, you can you can start to same thing with the with the the computer you know like. If you use you, and the computer is, is not like everybody has one. It is like a it's, it's more like a, 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 a comprehensive computer. You know, you when you the, the the actions you create and the the the, the actions in your mind or are, are all manifesting on this you know computer. And everybody who goes onto the computer, everybody can see everyone's. Uh, uh, actions, and so this is you know this is the the, the the one 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 world one person one universe. So if you how you start to see that you know where everybody create together you know, their their the bodily phenomenon the their mouth phenomenon. So we often what do we say it's like our people you know task and 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 objects and this is all coming from the buddha buddha nature it's, it's like when you're dreaming if you're you're dreaming john doe and jane doe and you how do you how do you see these these phenomena normally what do we do are we in 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 under the moment we 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 use our see our body as the outside phenomenon so this is this is like a 
sentient being function. So if we are you're going along with the Buddha function, this is for the same body, for the same phenomenon. So all the, the, the Buddha function will see that all is me and all is not me. You know, yeah. So Gui San's mirror. This 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 it comes from the the dialogue between Gui San and and Yang San. Yang San, um, the Gui San gave Yang San a, a a copper mirror. And if 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 Gui San's mirror in my hand, then this is a, this is a famous ko, uh, koan. So in any any moment, you when you when you use your Buddha nature to create your bodily and phenomena, it's kind of like Gui San's mirror, and and, and you you're giving into La, Yang San's hand. You using using your your mind to create, in your mouth and, and body to create all these actions, but but manifesting, in 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 the in the the table of emptiness, for example, like. So, so, okay, so, so lastly, uh, it's not abiding or not a no contact. If you don't see it as an object or you don't pay special attention to it, this is more of a, a silent illumination method. You know, you, you, you don't um, abide or you don't try to continue it. So shoot by an arrow, pulling out the arrow and shooting oneself countless times. This is a, something that we do all the time. We, we encounter this all the time. You know, someone, you say something bad to you, and then you, what do you do? You, 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 if they, 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 they scold you once, and then every time you think about it, you, you get angry once. If you think about it three times, then you get angry three times. But... But but you know when you're thinking about it, it's or it has already passed. It's or it's just in your mirror. So you, you're punishing yourself using your own memory. This is something uh, a common mistake that everybody makes. And this is like a Buddha's function. The people don't understand this. So so I, I think that you know when people talk about you know the, the the mother in your mind is not not your not your mother. A lot of people don't understand. So we'll have uh, Guo Xingfa to talk about the Dharma drum lineage of Chan Buddhism. So this is, you know. Okay. How many how, how many minutes do I have? Don't don't. don't. Right, fifteen. Can you do it in fifteen minutes? Okay. Okay. Um, this is a start. Shifu. Why does Shifu went to? Um, Venerable Ling Yuan, why did uh, Shifu went to um, went on an extended retreat, or you know, why did he go to study abroad, and why? And the part about the translation Beiru. So I will talk about this briefly. Um, so Shifu, his 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 process of learning um, Chan Buddhism. So if we look at Chan's uh, Master Sheng Yan's writing it, from the earliest time his his interest in chan is is when he was a kid he saw he saw a, a snake eating a frog and so that's when shifu already has has a initiation so when he when he is a, a kid he didn't really understand this and when when Shifu uh, met the venerable ling yuan this is a 1958 when when Sheng Yun was 28 28 years old because then um, Shifu was very uh, diligent in learning Buddha Dharma but but he has a lot of questions uh, or imagination 
and, and not knowing where what his future is regarding uh, you know his path on the the buddha's path because he he was a uh, he, he was in the army and for venerable lingren it just simply told him to let let go at this moment and and master sheng yin um, realized what is the true meaning of letting go and through this method through this letting go he 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 real you know, he knows that through the, the the life and death, you know what happens to the frog when the frog gets eaten by the snake. So it kind of solved the problem of life and death for him. So for for him when he was a kid, he doesn't know the meaning of life and death. But through this experience with Lingren, uh, Venerable Lingren, to let, ask him to let go, then Shifu suddenly. Um, it, it becomes uh, where his life is going becomes not an issue. So for 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 Master Sheng Yin, how do you practice Chan method? Then that becomes a really big problem. So what is this uh, problem? So he knows how what to let go, but but Shifu uh, uh, following that uh, around in 1959. Uh, he slowly wanted to 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 um, become a monk again. So then he met um, the Venerable Dong Chu. So he wants to see if he can uh, become a monk again with Venerable Dong Chu. So from 19 uh, until 1960s, and uh, Dong, Venerable Dong Chu was, was his treatment to Master Sheng Yin was 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 from uh, from Linji schools. So it's just to to, to kind of force force it down onto him. This is is this is is this kind of different from Ma Venerable Lingyan's method, and it's Master Sheng Yin want to, he doesn't really have a point of reference um, between these two methods. So so through the continual letting go, he he actually he Shifu when he was uh, becoming a monk with Venerable Dong Chu, he he said. Well, when I, I when I, I I became a monk with you, but I, I really wish that I have some time in the future for myself to, to study it further. So I want to go on a long extended retreat. So actually, he already talked about this uh, with Don't You Don't Venerable Don't You before he became a monk with Don't You. So uh, Don't You Don't You, but really wanted someone who can to 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 edit this magazine, but he, so don't you want, didn't think, didn't want uh, Venerable Sheng Yin, uh, Sheng Yin to go on extended retreat. So, so but anyway, he, he started um, editing this, um, the Life magazine. At the time, um, Shifu's uh, body was really weak. And so don't you know, was very, very, uh, very harsh. And, 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 and so you know, he asked, you know, Shifu to, to move, his room multiple times. He asked Shifu to to remodel. He want he wanted him to to recreate all the broken bricks from the kitchen remodel together, or 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 like you know have him um, to to recreate the broken broken tiles and ask ask Shifu to go buy these the tile, but then but then don't didn't give him any money giving him all kinds of very difficult challenges and and you want to and and don't choose you know his under don't you you know Sheng Yin didn't really have a way to find a concrete method so after the, when he received the uh, the shami precept so he he he's like oh maybe i i should you know go deep into uh, the precepts and so through the for this reason i i i i wanted to go th into uh, into uh, through the, deep into the precepts and he told don't you that so when when sifu received the the, the novice precepts he, so it was um I, so so his, his, uh, so the Chaodong lineage of Shifu received from, from the. So, so he, he received the precepts from Dong Chu. 
And so he asked, so if, if I want to go deep into the precepts, then don't you still think that he should, he should just practice here and, and, and edit the magazine? So Shifu asked a Zhi Guang, Venerable Zhi Guang, uh, let's pause. And, and so, so, so you, you, can, you can do this later. So Shifu had a reason at Dongchu uh, through two years from 19, 1960 to 1961 uh, to two years, um, Shifu decided to go in on an extended retreat. And, and, and after, when, uh, so Dongchu couldn't you know, keep Shifu. So, so he let um, Shifu went on to the extended retreat. So when Shifu went on to the extended retreat, he encountered who? He encountered he actually he encountered two person uh, that that one is a venerable Ching Song. At the time, he was going to Japan to study abroad, and then he met another one called Venerable Yin Hai. So he's in he's in um, he's in in Thailand uh, 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 becoming a bhikkhu. Um, so one is the one is the Buddhism from Thailand, ones from the, 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 the academic study in Japan. So, so he realized that Chinese Buddhism, if he didn't really you know, connect with the world, it's, it's not, that's not acceptable. So with these two, two encounter is, is kind of his, his causes and conditions that led him to Japan. And for, for Inhai, sorry, no. In, 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 in Thailand, the development, they have practice, they have, they have a lot of practice in develop, development and practice, but they don't have a lot of um, a theory uh, or doctrinal uh, development. So, so he, he, he also went to Japan to study. They also wrote, wrote um, a Theravada uh, Buddhist history. So, so the methods that he, the, the first method, so he, he, he he, so he used the uh, Lingyun's letting go. So he, he didn't do anything. And so he created like, oh, th this is, what, what is the present moment? So connecting, con con connecting to Lingyun's letting go. So, so Sifu re realized that letting go and is, is, is the same. So, so, so this is, that's why he talked about there is this the method of no method. So lastly, Shifu is in, in, in Kaohsiung, uh, and he, he actually reached awakening under, under a lychee tree in Kaohsiung. So Shifu completed, completed his, um, the, the, the the precepts uh, the book on precepts and he also talked about uh, wrote wrote um uh the right correct view on buddhism uh using the agama sutra so so, so he, he still needs the background of of uh, theory and doctrine so so Dongchu still thinks that you know he, he doesn't want him to continue on the uh, extended retreat, and so you want him to go to Japan to. So actually, Dongchu actually knows Japanese. So because maybe because when he was in China, he secretly went to Japan, but at the time, you know, the, the relation between China and Japan is really bad, so he couldn't say that. But Dongchu actually actually know. He knows a little bit about uh, Japanese uh, Buddhism. So, so, Shifu, so at the time, Dong, Dongchu, uh, uh, in the, they actually have a, in, in the, the, they actually have a, the, so he actually, don't, don't, don't you encourage Master Shenyang to go to Japan. But when actually Shifu wanted to go to, when Shifu want, actually wanted to go to Japan, Dongchu didn't want him to go. So he, he, because he saw that a lot of, People uh, like Ching Song Fa Su who go to Japan actually re re renounce their monk uh, monk life. So, so once he Manchufu has some kind of realization at this time, you know this is six year in his extended retreat, 
so he 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 you know he 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 got there's the three three kinds of yeah there's three kinds of um various samadhis so the great saranga masambhatra the avatam saka osha mudra samadhi or the or the you know all these three samadhi but he's tried all these three things and but but he still wants to he still wants to connect uh, the Chinese Buddhism with uh, modern you know, academic studies. So once his uh, interaction with Qing Song, Veno Chipo Qing Song, they, 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 he, they look down on uh, Japanese Buddhists because most of these Japanese Buddhists do not, uh, are not technically, you know, full precept. You know, they're like lay people studying Buddhism. So, but still they have a very good foundation, uh, academic foundation to, of, of uh, study of Buddhism, so that he thought that I would, you know, go to Japan and 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 learn the the good parts of of of, of their academic study. So, so in Japan, he 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 he, he had a he had a practice of of of, of um, a meditation practice. So, so there's another he. There's a, a master where the, both the Chao Dong and Lin Ji master, uh, uh, Venerable Fan Tinio. Is it he? Oh, but he's a teacher. So actually, it, there's not a lot of record of this. In but but, but under the table, um, Venerable Venerable Fan Tinio in Japan actually wanted to. Actually, wanted to give his uh, pass down the lineage to Master Sheng Yin, but he wanted he wanted a, a kind of a flexible and, and lively application of Buddha Dharma instead of the this more rigid form of practice in Japan. And Shifu in in, in Japan, uh, he, he doesn't he, he doesn't really want to you know uh, inherit the 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 the. the the temples or their practice, but he wanted to. So after that, you know, when Sufu came back from Japan, he didn't really have a, um, how do I say this? He has, he has his knowledge, but there's not a place for him to, 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 to develop. And so, so Shen Jiazhen in, it was like, oh, well, why don't you come to the United States? So, so actually, the Ban Tianyo encouraged um, encourage Master Sheng Yin to do that. In the beginning, uh, Shifu thought that like, I didn't know English, but, and so Ban Tianyo actually said that to him that Chan, there's the language is not an issue. Um, will will not uh, obstruct the, the 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 transmission of um, Chan Buddhism. So when he was so he, you know, when he went to the, the United States, the Shen Jiazhen gave him this opportunity. So he had him. Shen Jiazhen is what he is. Um, is a da da jue tam temple. Um, there's a lot of there's a lot of um, old monks. So so Master Sheng Yan. So there's actually not a, a, a lot of. Um, um, Function uh, opportunity for him at at um, at Da Jue Da Jue Temple. So so he started to wander. Um, so, so this is like this is like 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 true true med, uh, Chan practice because they're actually disciples who are actually following him in Japan when he. So who who is this uh, disciple? Paul. This is Paul. So, so you know it's very 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 free and then he's just. He's just, you know, transmitting what he knows and not, you know, without any label. So when in the beginning, the, the development of the, the Dong Chu in, in New York, this is the real passing of the, the, the Chan method. There doesn't have to be any true label to it. So because of that, there or begins what? 
and in 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 the United States, um, not long after he moved to the United States because he he passed away. So don't you want him to come back to Taiwan and 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 t- and take, you know, take on. So Shifu, Shifu, the life that Shifu wanted to pass, that, that to live, he wanted to you know lead uh, Chan practice and retreat. But but don't you want back to Taiwan? There was actually a, a you know special cause and condition. So this this, this his his academic uh, experience and degree in Japan has a function now when he back he's back to Taiwan. So Sanjatan in in the Shinzu, let me see. So there's a there's a there's. He 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 kind of took over the the translation bearer, and and in 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 Nongchan, Nongchan Temple they 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 created like the branch. Of the translation translation barrier. So, so Shifu said, you know, in the beginning there was only four people. There's four person, one American, three Taiwanese, and at the, but they 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 didn't really know. They don't have backgrounds in doctrine and practice. So what what do they translate? They translate a uh, Surangama Sutra, the Vimalatika Sutra, and and other sutra. So most most people don't understand that. So, so so he said. Um, you, know, you have to pra- practice Chan instead. You know, so so that's the where the foundation was set. So in Taiwan, after one year, uh, in the translation barrier in Taiwan could, could couldn't you know couldn't go on because they didn't have money. So the, and the and the quality of the translation is, is not not great. So they couldn't continue. So they changed it to what they they changed it to the the three studied um, the so. So at the beginning, uh, the Guo Xiang Fa Shi and is it became a monk in Nongchan Temple. So this is you know the the this is where the beginning of where Shifu has has a sangha, has meditation, has a rest, Buddha recitation. This is also in Taiwan. So in the United States, Shifu said you know there he had developed a, a Chan method. So I'll talk about this briefly, simply. And in in Shifu in 1998 is the the his day the day before his dialogue with Dalai Lama, he used he wrote down how how to develop um, the Chan method, and and this this method in 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 Shifu's uh, handwritten um, table he talked about you know the expedient means of entry. So what what is the main point? The main point is four points. The first one is free from mind, thought, and cognition to, and they can actualize the Buddha nature. So this is from uh, the, the the sudden enlightenment method. So th- with this, you, you need you need like a very um, high lo- level uh, teacher. Then that's only that's only way when that can work. But if it's from an individual point of view, that that that's difficult. You you, ha- you need a long time of practice. The, so, so how do you how do you practice the long term? So, to you, so you so for number two, you use a delusion to transform delusion. So, what does that mean? And re, and relaxing the body and mind. So to use the delusion to transform delusion. So Lingyuan is is what is this? It's like Lingyuan, venerable Lingyuan, letting go. It's like letting uh, relaxing the body and letting go of mind and body. So, so. To, Returning to the present mind. What is the present mind? What 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 is, what is the, and, the, and this becomes like a a a or, or like, it has no kind of this huato has no meaning particularly, but it has, just to for you to observe what is present. So for what the, the, the there's no meaning of what what is the the thought before the the hua and and to 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 see the the present mind if you can see that the present mind is is diluted and if you relax your body and if you no name no no following and so the 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 current mind even though it's diluted but 
but right now you can you can contemplate and observe so then you can use that to 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 let it go so for hua to you know you 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 contemplate on the thought before the hua to so what is before the hua to so it's to, this is this is called using the deliberate mind to 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 dis so th this this comes from tian tai and hua yin so this this method from tian tai is and uh, zhi zhe, and when he talked about the present mind in it, that, that includes true mind and deluded mind so in tian tai when they when they created the um, deluded mind originates from the Buddha mind. So this is from the Song Dynasty. This is developed in, in the Song Dynasty. So, and 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 Shifu in Japan when he when he because he, he studied it, uh, Zhizhi from Tiantai. So 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 he, so he he and so in Hua regarding Hua Yan, he talked about the true mind. So if you're, you're if your present mind is is you know in accordance with the non-abiding, then then there is the big use of, of of the true mind. So all 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 the all the 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 the, the great um, the concept in Chan comes from Hua Yin, Hua Yin school. So so Shifu wrote two books, and one is a Tian Tai, the the the, the central central concept of Tian Tai and, and Hua Yin, Hua Yin, uh, the, the central mind of Hua Yin. So, and it says this, this combining, combining doctrine and, 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 and practice. Yeah, so this, thank you, um, Mass uh, Venerable Guo Xing's um, added, uh, Added information. So I want to let people have an opportunity to ask questions. Thank you, Guoxi, uh, Fa Shi, um, no more chin in the uh, Jiang Su, Rang Wen Dei, um, the Fa Gu Zong, um, Yoga Hen Hen Chin Su, the um, Liao Jie. Now, Woman Zidao, Four Jiao, the Zuka Bada Zong Tai, Zigui, Lai, Do Shi. 世界知道的那现在这个法古中一个新的宗派的成立是不是就晋升成为佛教有九个宗派包括这个法古中这个是一个也是佛教的一个大师好那我就回答吧 感谢。哎，基本上似乎的华古中，中国讲华古中，嗯，刚才没有讲到，然后我来讲一下，就是华古中的，它有几个特色嘛。第一个似乎应该它有两个传承啊，应该有，它有一个是林济，啊，是林林
已经跟传统不一样了，传统哎，我这边这边传统啊，传统呃，通常传统的哎，就是阴行啊，像你如果你在大陆的话，就进行跑香跟打坐，进行跑香跟打坐。可是事物的话，已经跟菩萨道结合，那已经已经跟呃跟很多东西结合，比如说我们的禅修。我们的禅修有什么？有八十洞禅，啊，那有早课，有按摩，哦，还有漫步进行。那这些像漫步进行是南传的东西，啊，那阿叔说禅基本上它是什么？它是有包容性的哈、哦。呃、uh, ，师父禅 Buddhism is all inclusive or all eight schools of Buddhism. It is all inclusive. It is connected to reality through practice. It contains prostration. It contains all aspects of the practice of Buddhism, and and the lineage came from. Ancient sutra like the Sura Gama Sutra, the Platform Sura Sutra, Vimalakatri Sutra. So it is a consolidation of the previous historical, the eight sect of Buddhism. The eight sect, the concept of eight, the eight sect, is not developed. Uh, it's not developed in China. It is just the scholar assign eight different labels to eight different style. In the Ming and Qing dynasty, during that the era, the Ming Qing era,、uh, there is a a national, I call maybe desire to consolidate. All into one. It also includes the the pure land Buddhism called Jing Tu. And and And、when the Japan got got it, they got it got the concept from China. They see it as there's eight different branch of Buddhism. That's the Jap the Jap the perspective from Japan. But Damodar Mountain Sifu's approach is consolidate, harmonize, all encompasses. All eight approach training and practice of the Buddhism over the last two thousand plus years. So it include the 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 southern side, the Tibetan side, the Pure Land side, and so. 可是 the approach is trying to harmonize, consolidate, and point towards one highest goal. The highest goal of the the Dharma of your heart. It is beyond the concept of different branches. 一个一个一个汉传佛教的特色是，它是一个 is growing towards consolidating, aggregating, and it's like all road leading leading to Rome, but they have a method all towards one common harmonized approach. 都是属于融合性的、开放的这个性格。And it is very open. 
for all to learn, to understand, and to comprehend. Thank you, Father. Because we learn from our Father in Los Angeles weekly, in our weekly classes. We learn about Buddhism during our classes. In China, we call Chan. In Japan, we call Zen. In Taiwan, the Dhamma Drum Mountain is actually is not the original regular uh, Chinese original chant. So is this a, a new Dhamma Drum chant? So, uh, to correctly put it, this is, this is a chant of Buddhism. So, it, it's not only Chan, but it is Chan of Buddhism. How to achieve the ultimate realization of Buddha, of Buddhahood through Chan. The approach is used in method and a practice where all common people can learn and through this method of practice, you one begin to realize the essence of Buddhism, the essence of mind, the essence of your self nature. And it is a very easy method that can be learned and comprehend by common public all over the world. It's not very complicated. Uh, it is a new ch Buddhist Chan that is pointing and looking towards the future development of Buddhism Chan. Thank you, Fasi. Earlier, there was a question about how to use relaxation to get rid of your vexation, or do you use a relaxation to, uh, to bring along your vexation? The concept is I use, I use the, the method is like using a function, using a method, using a particular method to chase away your vexation. So it's like using a particular method. See, anything you do in mind is vexation, but you're focusing on one vexation, literally flutter your mind with it and use that to force out all the rest of the, first of the uh, vexation. Uh, thank you, Fasa. I have a question. I learned a little bit, and I'm a little bit of understand, but I'm still not quite not clear. I, need, I wish to go further in the learning, and I wonder how should I go about approach finding a teacher, literature, how to uh, further my learning of Buddhism or Chan. Oh, uh, the reception is very good. Through self self learning, I have a very superficial understanding of Buddhism. 
but I think I'm still a long way to go. And I think I have limited uh, strength and I'm moving, I'm learning, progressing very slow. So I like to have some advice how to, how to approach to increase my learning. Uh, Pastor say, yeah, you have, of course, you're very welcome to come and uh, participate in our in our uh, one day retreat, three day retreat, from the elementary retreat. Uh, I did participate, but uh, but I'm not uh, improving. Pastor say, oh yeah, you can come for seven days as well. In Shanghai, in New York, they have seven day receipt. Is it in the New York? Oh yes, yes. Just come to New York. Pusa uh, say, oh, I didn't see the message. Pastor say, oh yeah, you, you you can contact some of us. We'll give you the information. You can come to New York, and there's a calendar, and we'll put you in touch in touch with the right uh, organizer. And and. And when the uh, COVID-19 situation is over, you're most welcome to come over and practice on a seven-day retreat. Can you hear me? Yes. Actually, I have a few questions. I have a few questions. Let me start from the first one. Just now from the PPT, I saw we, we include the Tibetan uh, approach. Uh, I'd like to ask uh, how, in which aspect of it uh, was it uh, from how, how was it uh, related or, or comprehend the relationship of it? Uh, the essence is your, your heart is not fixated to a image or a form. And that is what Daso Yin uh, approach of uh, Tibetan Buddhism is. So when you come and experience and train for silent illumination, that will be uh, the same approach of Tibetan uh, Daso Yin. I heard that uh, Sufu had his realization under a tree in Japan. Uh, Pastor say no, uh, it is in Taiwan during the six, six years of um, retreat. Uh, it was under a Taiwan a tree, a fruit tree in Taiwan. Pusa say, well, I better go check out that tree. It's a very special tree. There's another question. It's about a PPT. I, I have a, an idea. When we, when we, when we deal with people externally or issue externally or in front of me, Yeah. 
呃方式颠倒了的话，就千万就是在这里提一个醒吧。那我可能在这里补充一下，啊、呃，也请呃法师可以就是看。就是换换一个位置去想，就是说，哎，如果别人来对我们提意见，那我们是不是应该呃虚心接受 ？Question is, uh, in Didim and Mountain, uh, 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 and and we learn a lot, and we, and and the the that Dharma Jung Mountain taught a lot, and and your PPT mentioned that uh we should uh uh open to opinion that is not my opinion, and and I wonder. 是关于圣严师傅的人间净土的思想，呃，就是我。I'd like to ask, what is the pure land in in the in earth? The concept, can you explain the pure land on concept, pure land, uh, uh, in in this world concept? 啊，就因为当时的这个时代的纷乱和整个中国。I also like to understand the background of two three hundred years ago in. In the old, in the in the Tang Song uh, dynasty, uh, during that time, a uh, little bit about the background. During that time, what is the Chan philosophy on life? So maybe Fasa can give a little insight of that. 今天这个时代已经成为佛教界一个非常呃主流的一种这样的一种呃。Uh, the pure land on land, uh, the pure land in this on earth concept is becoming a prevalent major concept、uh, concept right now. So, uh, can can this concept be more elaborate, explain a little more, and how would it eventually evolve? And what is the what is the specialty or characteristic the characteristic of humanistic pure land? That means the pure land on earth. Maybe Fasu can give us some insight. From the same time, Confused, 就是说各个道场提出的人间。Because all is is a very common, a、uh, popular word on many different uh, uh, temple or or Chan or I mean or, or Buddhism uh, uh, organizations. It is very co common word, a common title.、Uh, Sometimes we're a little bit confused about the humanistic pure land. And、uh, I just like to maybe get a better understanding of that. Okay. First of all, the pure land on on earth is built on the foundation of Chan. Is in your is the built on Chan in your heart? Is the is Chan of your mind? Using a Chan mind, a mind of Chan, to see the world. Is your mind how your mind see the world? Aware of the world through a approach of Chan. Through a real heart, through your your true heart, your true your true nation. Uh, 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 The nature to see, to see the world, and the world is actually appear in your mind. So the pure line is, is through everything. Everything you saw is a collection of what your mind is being projected upon. In one thought, if you think about the Buddha, at that moment, that is where Buddha is. That is where Amitabha is. It's all in one thought. When your thought is not in vexation, not in ex, not in ignorance, and your only thought is is let's say you like、uh, recite Buddha name, that that is the pure land in 
in your mind and your mind project represent the pure land on earth. When, when Buddha came to this world, the world, the samsara world, is full of vexation and pain. But in the mind, if the mind can see all these vexations, it's only image projected, created by the duality of self. When you know that, you know your pain and agony is on the last thought. When you understand that, if you just focus on the current moment, whether you're cooking, whatever you're doing in your function, and you, your vexation of, on the method will push out all other vexation and ignorance. And that is a pure land immediately. Well, it, a lot of other, a lot of uh, uh, temple say, let's wait for Nila Four, Nila Buddha, to come to give us the pure land. Well, uh, Damajra Mountains, uh, Fagusan uh, concept is no, you don't have to wait for the, the Nila Buddha to come. You can achieve. The pure land on in in land in your heart right now. You have the mind. You are the Buddha. You have the pure land in your mind. So the training is use your vexation to flood it out all the rest of vexation and pain. Use all these vexations is all not true. The only thing that is true is your self nature. Your, your true nature, just focus on the moment, focus on a method, or focus in awareing and knowing, but not fixating, not uh, grasping, not differentiating. You just leave everything alone. You practice for that. And that way you will see pure land in your heart. So, Okay, Michelle, please ask your question. Amitava. Okay. I've learned a lot from today. Thank you. I have a little question. There was a slide talking about Chan. So, Okay, so talk about the future of uh, the Buddha, Buddhism. Okay, so, so is the uh, the blue ocean strategy? Is that talking about the uh, the uh, the the ocean and the waves, or is that uh, something else? Okay, so the blue ocean strategy is yeah, it's the Red Sea. Uh, strategy it's opposed to the red sea so the shifu said they, there are many things that we need to do uh, in, as a buddhist okay so yeah so when we bring up yeah we bring up a new concept and right so others yeah, others and follow. 
and and okay, so yeah, so to try to up yeah, up one manship, I try to make a bigger you know, bigger scale. Well, this yeah, the Sifu is trying to be the innovator. Uh, yeah, so if, in other words, yeah, if someone's already done it, then yeah, we don't want to do do it and trying to you know up one you know uh, try to keep up with the Joneses. Yeah, we're just so that's yeah, so that's uh, it's like a uh, competing with the other. So that's yeah, so that's yeah, so that's the blue. Yeah, the Red Sea, you know, Red Ocean strategy is, you know, uh, it's competing on the price, the cost. And Blue Ocean strategy is that uh, you are in a you know, clear territory, so there is a fair little competition. And we're trying to apply the same concept here in Buddhism. Uh, this is a concept we've actually brought uh, uh, brought in from the, uh, from the business world. Okay, I have to... Uh kind of uh, passing the message from our uh, translation team. They would like to encourage anyone, any uh, speaker of English to raise questions. Uh, we know that uh, the Venerable Guo Xing is a very experienced Chen master. So if you have any question regarding Chen meditation, this will be a great opportunity to raise your question. So just want to pass the message to people, uh, English uh, speaker of English language, anyone? Okay, we have another uh, woman. Okay, so yeah, we have someone. I haven't seen the name. Okay, Xiaoming. Uh, yes, uh, you can unmute her. Can you unmute? Okay. Uh, can you unmute? Okay, please ask your question. Can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you. Hey, Xiao Ming, sorry. sorry. Yeah. How come th there seems to some uh, seems, seems to be some technical issue? Can you raise your hand again? Yeah, so I cannot see you. Okay, thank you. Okay, go ahead. Sorry about that. Thank you, Venerable. Yeah, I saw. Okay, so there's um there's something there's some questions. Uh, from the P PowerPoint. What was your question? Which one? Which slide? Yeah, which slide? Yeah, can you tell me which slide you're referring to? You had questions? Yeah, there's so many of them. Is this the one? Okay, can you raise your hand again? Yeah. Okay. Okay. So yeah, Chan and the yeah, the Buddha path. Yes, Bodhisattva path. I'm sorry. So so basically, you know, in the traditional Chan in back in China, so there. Okay, so yeah, because of the incumbents of the Taoist and Confucians, they've actually, yeah, they were actually, um, yeah, they were rejecting and then uh, discriminating against the Chan. So they were actually forced into the mountains and, you know, separate from the world. Hello. So yeah, okay, so yeah, so okay, back then in the traditional society is yes, only uh, the folks that actually learn Chan is only by the scholars, the educated folks, the, the laymen, the, the regular folks cannot. So, and and so, yeah, so the Shifu actually has made it more, uh, you know, bring it back to the, to everything for everyone, made it accessible to everyone by incorporating Chan and Bodhisattva path. 
so we've actually yeah com you know integrated with you know what uh our daily lives such as oh okay so it's a buddhist uh, wedding ceremony and using buddhist uh, uh, ideas to improve our lives and mentality and 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 in Taiwan, we've actually uh, yeah, combined uh, the Buddhist, yeah, uh, the traditions into uh, funeral ceremonies. Okay. And in our daily lives, in so yeah, so it's actually just integrating into our daily lives. So other than just you know uh, meditating in the Chan Hall, so how do we apply all these? how do we apply the silent illumination to our daily lives and this is actually all you know coming from the chan's uh, uh principles so when you yeah when you face problems yeah you have to go through the same process the three process of you know uh, facing it uh, 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 uh treating it and then accepting it and uh, so and then we have the cultural yeah so uh, uh, cultivate merits and so on and these are just your know, uh, concepts that we can use by everyone it's not only yeah, not only by the the, uh, the elite so the yeah, Bodhi path Bodhi or Safa path so okay, so in Jen, let's make it to conclude. Yeah, so this Chan is oh, Chan and Bodhisattva is actually the uh the is to path through liberation. Okay, so all right, so basically, yeah, Chan is actually, yes, yeah, it's, it's integrated with the Bodhisattva path. So, so there's another concept here the three branches of the Ham, uh, the, the Chinese Mahanana, Mahamana, uh, Mahayana Buddhism. This is back to the original, the origin, original uh, Buddhism. But due to the changing times, yeah, so, so you have to innovate with the times. And this is where our Chan methods, again, so it's, it's, a, it's a modern version of it, you know, uh, integrating the Bodhisattva path. So let's go back to the future trends of the world Buddhism. So when you know, when Chan when Buddhism came to China, it was actually integrated with Chinese Taoism and Confucian. And same thing with the Western Chan. Same. So now it needs to. Uh, so these are the few concepts. It has it's practical, adaptable, and integrative. And to integrating uh, the yoga. For example, to and the whole purpose of all these is actually to to help uh, all these sentient uh, sentient beings to achieve uh, enlightenment and so this is yeah in general uh, what the future trend is okay and, okay thank you everyone who've actually who've actually passed our a lot of time for about 30 minutes so there are there are two things that I need to uh, pass on to everyone so if you have more questions, uh, you, yeah, we can continue with your questions after these because we have another uh, event and people might be busy with other. Uh, okay, so everybody rise. Yeah, join your palms. Bow. Please bow to uh, the uh, Shifu Sheng Yan and 
and bow to the two venerables, Amitabha. Please sit. Please sit. Okay, and okay, so our talk, we have completed today's talk. And thank you very much to the two venerables waking up so early and try connecting with us. And I would like to uh, pass on these two. Okay, so yeah, I have to thank you. Oh yeah, I would like to thank the, uh, the translation and interpretation uh, volunteers. And also must give our thanks to uh, the, the leader of the team, you know, Angela from Toronto, and of course the tech support team. So, uh, so yeah, people might not know this, but we've actually just uh, uh, formed this uh, the translation interpretation team last year when the the event came uh, just over a year ago. So I myself am a member of the translation team, and I am really thankful. And yeah, thank thank you everyone. Uh, so this is passing on the the other uh, Buddha light. This is the the spirit and to, uh, to helping others. And, and thank you. Oh, so if anyone else that's really interested in volunteering uh, in participating in the translation or interpretation team, please. Yeah, please, yeah, we welcome everyone.